that was really a roller coaster. Um, I think until last Thursday we were not sure if we get a positive call from the management to go ahead. Uh, I mean, we put a team together, we worked on the logistics hard and we worked yeah, in line for yeah positive call, but uh, yeah, that wasn't sure until last Thursday. So finally it's, uh, yeah, everyone is tired, but it's very, uh, yeah, very happy, I guess. And uh, it's, it was a very overwhelming welcome here. It's a big solid solidarity from all the teams and the race. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great message. They're showing that they're leaving no one behind. And that's a great story to send out there. And yeah, my team did a fantastic job. We, we got a big push from the city, from a, from a good network of friends and uh, good, yeah, it was just an amazing operation we did and a uh, successful operation and yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of the team and uh, I'm very happy to be here and yeah, able to sail the last two legs. Yeah, I mean, when we dismasted on the night of the, I think, 8th of May, uh, that was a very black, dark moment and uh, yeah, I mean, then the race didn't stop, it's just, changes a level so you start to you start to go into logistics you got start to go into technical solutions you start to go in the yeah, financial um, situation uh, in the team and uh, yeah it has been a lot of u-turns in the last two weeks we can make it we cannot make it technically possible logistically not and uh, it has been emotionally very exhausting but uh, yeah finally we made it and uh, I think uh, yeah that matters yeah so leg six is obviously a very short leg it's only 800 miles I think it will take us probably three days depending a little bit on the wind um, we're gonna start and sail back to Kiel where I just came from this morning um, and we're gonna turn a flyby mark uh, in the Kila Inner further, which is basically yeah, my, my living room. I sailed a lot of races over there and uh, it's uh, the sailing city of Germany. So this is gonna be huge for us for sure. And we expect a lot of fans on the water and uh, on the shore. It's gonna be big. In 2002, Ilbrook won the last, uh, the, the ocean race over there. And when they finished in Kiel and yeah, you had the feeling you could walk over the water, a lot of spectators. So Kiel has quite a history within the race. So I think for the city it's big, so I'm very happy to go there. So then we go back out, we round Skagen, um, and then we go into the North Sea, which is a different, more open venue. So this one is a bit more tricky and tactical, the first part, and then it gets probably a bit more into seamanship and uh, top boat speed. So it, it's going to be a good leg, a very interesting leg, for sure not a lot of sleep because you, you have a lot of contact to, to the coast and uh, a lot of maneuvers for sure. So it will be a hard leg, but a, a very interesting leg. Yeah, I think people uh, in Kiel are waiting for us. They are really uh, excited that the race is coming by. I mean, I've been there last week. Uh, we repaired the boat in Kiel and from the moment we published this, uh, yeah, a lot of friends and a lot of fans passed by in the boatyard. And uh, yeah, kids brought cakes and uh, friends uh, served us with food. And we received a lot of support from the city. and good friends and yeah I think the city is waiting for us for them it means a lot I mean they have such a great experience and memory to the ocean race finish in 2001 or two when Ilbrook won the race and uh, yeah that has been a big big story for Kiel and every everyone remembers this and I think no one wants to miss it this time around yeah.